Welcome back to another episode of Inward News. It's your boy Dre. Uh, Merry Christmas because it is 3 30 in the morning, Christmas Day. And Happy New Year because it's going to be out before the New Year. Kim Potter, the dingus that accidentally shot a man while trying to tase him, has been found guilty and will serve some prison time. While everybody rejoiced, th rejoiced at this, this heifer went out and smiled in her new mugshot. Like, that was just the, the final disrespect to the deceased. Because, for what? Literally no reason to smile. At all. A Chicago woman just received $2.9 million after police entered her home and handcuffed her as uh, I think she was getting ready for a shower back in 2019. Uh, so I guess she had just got off of work. She was worked at a hospital. She had just got off of work. She, uh, she was at home and I think she was about to take a shower. She was getting undressed and she starts hearing banging at her door. So when she goes to answer the door, you know, uh, I think she put on like a jacket just to like cover up, I guess a little bit. And they bust in and they handcuffed her. And apparently just all her frontal was exposed and nobody would give her anything. They wouldn't let her cover up. Uh, what you call it? I think they, whatever was around her shoulder just kept falling off and they just let her sit there. And it wasn't until after 10 minutes, another officer had stepped in and cover up, uh, took her to the room and let her get dressed. It was a female officer. Uh, I think the lady said she wanted to thank that officer because she was the only one that showed her kindness in that moment. So I can only imagine how many other officers were there before either this one showed up, realized what was going on and helped her, or how many officers were there for her to be there and not realize that this woman had been naked this whole time. But uh, the terrible experience gave this lady PTSD, anxiety, and depression. She ended up suffering at a job. Apparently, she was a great worker before. And then she started suffering after this because obviously, like, seeing cops and all that, she just couldn't handle it. Uh, and she ended up losing her job. Uh, apparently, them going to her house was because some somebody gave the cops a bad information and told them that uh, the person they were looking for, or I guess somebody on house arrest, was supposed to be in there. So they got a search warrant to go inside the house. Uh, apparently the person they were looking for had an ankle monitor on, so they could have just looked him up. They didn't need a search warrant. They didn't need to go into her house. They didn't need to embarrass this lady. They could have just looked where the ankle monitor was. Start there. If you couldn't find the person on the ankle monitor, then you start going into houses. But the fact that y'all didn't even look up the ankle monitor, so yeah, uh, two years later, this lady gets $2.9 million. I can only imagine what life she's lived in between these two years, especially with COVID. Like this lady has PTSD, anxiety, and depression. That is a mental health cocktail of, of terrible proportions. The good cop that helped her, uh, apparently she died, I think the next year in 2020. Uh, I think a suspect shot her while responding to another call. So the one good cop that helped this lady out in this terrible uh, moment got killed in another incident, but all the other cops that just watched this happen, and I'm not saying they should have died. No firing, no nothing. The one good cop is the one punished with her life. While the bad cops get to continue to do it all over again. Biden came out and said that he was going to continue to delay student loan payments until May 1st. Because he was talking about bringing them back and everybody just aggressively said no. Bullied him on the internet. So he was like, oh, we'll push it back to May 1st. Bro, just cancel it. Somebody had tweeted this and they had a good point. That was like, uh, if you can go 26 months without something, you don't need it. Cancel that. Cancel all student loan debt. Let that not be a thing. Let that just delete the file. Just control all delete. Don't exist. I bet you the economy will expand and the economy will grow 
if people ain't worried about student loan repayment. I promise you that. Money is made up. Money is a made up concept. Pfizer said they ain't just a medical company. They are also a medicinal company. Uh, they jumped down in the medical ring for uh, cannabis. Uh, medical cannabis. So uh, apparently they bought some company for $6.7 billion. And if you can buy something for $6.7 billion, that means they were already well funded and probably well established. So you remember what they say, if, if they buy you for one thing, you're worth so much more. So if you're trying to get elevated and medicated, you know, get some of that Pfizer pine and smoke some with the homies. Yeah, the people giving out this COVID vaccine can also give you out weed. I'd hate for the cross-contamination on that to get out. This little fug nugget, Cal Rittenhouse, went to some thing. I think it was like, what, a conservative conference or something? They had like neon lights and strobe lights and a standing ovation. This kid killed people. This kid murdered somebody. And he's getting this amazing press tour of just a bunch of wing nuts and dingle bats. Some monkeys in India had their baby killed by a dog some time ago. And uh, the monkeys said they weren't gonna take that disrespect. So apparently they've been on a rampage. I don't know how long this has been going on, but they, uh, they grab up small dogs and they drag them to the tops of buildings and trees and stuff. And then they just toss them off to their deaths. Uh, they just arrested two monkeys. I don't know how you arrest two monkeys, but they arrested two monkeys. And the current count of dogs that the monkeys have killed is 250 dogs. Now, remember, these aren't just two monkeys that they arrested the ones committed. It's the whole village of monkeys that lives around them. They've killed 250 dogs, but they arrested two. So I guess the others are still at large, still got warrants out for their arrest. But I'm quite sure if, if they arrested their brothers, they're going to come back and they're going to do some more stuff. I, I doubt that they're just going to be like, oh, you killed our baby and arrested our brothers. You guys win. Nah. They keep going. But 250 dogs? At what point do you guys lock up your dogs? And now on to the y'all hiring segment. And I made this week quick because, you know, I only got three of them. That's supposed to be a Christmas episode, but some big stuff kept happening. So that's how I even got that many stories up there. Uh, Butter Brand is an upcoming apparel and clothing brand. Right now, they're limited to joggers and hats, but it's winter. So that's all you need right now anyway. Uh... Go get you something. They got a, it's not fit. I think they got snapbacks and then they got beanies. So if that's your type of hat, beanies, my type of hat. Oh, I've been wearing a lot of snapbacks lately too. But that's your thing. Hit them up. Uh, obviously they're going to expand. They're going to get more stuff. So, you know, pay them now so they can afford to get more things. That's how you grow a business. If you, if you see people that ain't got much of a selection, you got you to gotta get what they got until they can get more things. You can't just tell them, come back when you got something new. They got to sell out the merch first. Ray is a sports commentator and a reporter. She follows most sports, but I uh, think she has an affinity for football. As uh, her Instagram bio says, future NFL GM. I mean, she wants to be a general manager. Uh, follow her now so you can see her growth. Uh, subscribe to her YouTube. I'm sure she's going to put some more stuff on there. I think right now she has the intro video. Uh, but yeah, go show some support, argue with her, you know, sports people love arguing. That's why was it Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, uh, Uncle Shannon Sharp. Yeah. Go ahead. Get her up there. Hell, if you get her up there high enough, she could be up there with Taylor Rooks. And I think that's the only sports reporter I know. I don't know any other sports reporters. I'm not a sports guy. Yo, Chappelle is another clothing line out here trying to warm your backs in the winter. Uh, they got some sweatsuits for you, but they also got bucket hats, t-shirts, and shorts. So uh, if you want to head start on spring, you can start your shopping now. Like I said, it is winter. Get the sweatsuits now. You still got about two more months of winter. But for spring, they, she does have uh, t-shirts and she got uh, the short sleeve button up shirt. So if you guys want to hit the, the golf course, get ready for some good golfing. She got you covered. Uh, yeah. That's this week's Y'all Hiring. You know, I'll, I'll see you guys next year. Bye-bye.